Donating blood. Donating blood represents a helping hand to others as patients often need different types of blood products for their recovery. Any healthy person between the ages of 18 and 65 with a body mass of over 50 kilograms who is not hemophilic, not inclined to faint, and not breastfeeding can become a blood donor. Men can donate blood a maximum of five times a year, while women can give blood three times at most. There must be at least 56 days between blood donations. At the beginning of the blood donation process, the personal data of the blood donor is checked at the registration desk. A photo ID with personal particulars is all one needs. The blood donor has to fill in a questionnaire regarding their way of life and give their consent to be registered by the local Red Cross or Red Crescent. It is worth drinking a few glasses worth of fluids prior to donating blood. The next step is a few lab and medical tests in which certain characteristics of the blood are determined. Among these, the most important one is hemoglobin content. If a person donates blood for the first time in their life, they are tested to determine their blood type first. Prior to obtaining a sample from a fingertip, the place and surrounding area of the sampling is thoroughly wiped with a cotton pad with 70% ethanol. After the alcohol has evaporated, the skin is pierced approximately 2 to 3 millimeters deep with a sterile needle. It is obligatory for the person performing the sampling to wear sterile latex gloves. After sampling, one has to apply pressure to the wound with a sterilized gauze or cotton pad until the bleeding stops. If an anomaly is detected during the test, the donor is temporarily or permanently excluded from the blood donation program. The answers provided in the questionnaire are then evaluated in the next room, and blood pressure is measured too. If all goes well, one has to identify oneself yet another time in order to avoid any potential mix-up among blood donors. After these tests, you can enter the room where the actual vena punctures take place. Just to be on the safe side, you have to identify yourself yet another time, after which you receive promotional gifts from the blood donation center. Then you will have to sit or lie down, relaxing your arm. A tourniquet is wrapped around your upper arm, after which you have to pump your fist a few times to increase pressure in the veins. Blood is usually drawn from a healthy peripheral vein in the crook of the elbow or in the forearm. Wearing sterilized latex gloves is obligatory when performing a vena puncture to prevent infections. The area of the vena puncture is always cleansed and sterilized beforehand. Once the skin has dried, the procedure is given the green light. The blood is drawn with a sterilized, single-use needle with a closed blood sampling system. The needle puncture does involve a slightly painful sensation. Many may find the squeeze of the rubber band placed on the upper arm unpleasant. Once the area of the vena puncture has been sterilized, it must not be touched by anything non-sterile. Ideally, it takes about 5 to 10 minutes to draw 450 milliliters of blood. The blood flows into a sterilized bag, specifically made out of a special material for this purpose. It is a single-use product, just like the needle used for the vena puncture. It contains anticoagulants as well as a solution that nourishes the blood cells until the blood can be used, thus preventing clotting and the starvation of the blood cells. The drawn whole blood is tested in the laboratories of the local blood transfusion service to determine blood types, rule out diseases, and detect possible pathogens. Screenings are performed for hepatitis, AIDS, and syphilis, and also liver function tests are done. After the removal of the needle, one needs to rest for a few minutes, and drinking liquid is of great importance too. A minimum of half a liter is advised.
You can help significantly with just a single blood donation. Plasma products and red blood cell and platelet concentrates are made from the drawn blood. You too should consider becoming a blood donor.